and welcome to this week's episode of the Nature C Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Pardelli, and I'm also the CEO and co-founder of the company, having starred Nature City over 20 years ago with my wife, Beth. And since then, it's been our honor to have served over 500,000 Americans by offering them the best supplements we can make. Today, we'll be discussing a supplement ingredient that's been rocketing in popularity recently called L-theanine. Frankly, although I love the ingredient, I didn't see the rising interest in L-theanine coming, but it makes sense because the calming properties of L-theanine can be used both during the day to help you feel more relaxed and focused on your work or daily tasks, and it can also be taken at night to help you fall asleep faster and get a more restful night's sleep. This usage flexibility makes L-theanine especially appealing. It's like having those jeans or some other item in your closet you can wear in many different situations. It makes that item very valuable to you. After I describe L-theanine and some of its key properties and benefits, I'll tell you how we like to use L-theanine in a supplement at Nature City. What is L-theanine? It's an amino acid found in small amounts in dietary items like mushrooms and tea leaves with the greatest concentration found in green tea. It helps give green tea its unique flavor and also helps take the edge off of the caffeine in green tea and reduce some of the effects of the caffeine crash that comes with ingesting a stimulant. But even a cup of green tea typically only gives you about 25 milligrams of l with most green teas likely giving you less than 10 milligrams per cup. The 25 milligrams is some of the finer teas you get from Japan. Most of the teas, green teas we see here, probably more in the range of 10 milligrams per cup of green tea. Most of the benefits we're going to be discussing involve taking 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams daily of L-theanine as a supplement. As mentioned, L-theanine is an amino acid, but for context, it's not an essential amino acid, meaning your body doesn't depend on it. You could live your entire life without it. However, L-theanine's value is it can support the calming systems in the brain so we can function and sleep better, especially in the busy and stressful modern-day world we all live in. So how does it work? L-theanine's benefits stem from its ability to stimulate the production of alpha wave activity in the brain. Alpha waves help promote feelings of relaxation and help calm us down when we're feeling stressed or anxious about something we're doing. L-theanine can do this because it's able to cross the protective blood-brain barrier. The brain views L-theanine as a friendly substance and lets it in. Once in the brain, L-theanine plays a role in the formation of a neurotransmitter called GABA. You may know GABA is sometimes called the calming neurotransmitter because it works directly to promote the relaxing alpha waves that we in the brain that we just spoke of. In addition, it's believed that L-theanine helps support the release of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is one of the feel-good hormones in our bodies and helps support mental alertness. The bottom line is the activity of L-theanine can help us feel more relaxed without causing unwanted drowsiness. So let's now turn to what specific L-theanine you should look for in supplements, and there's really only one brand I'd recommend. It is the Sun Theanine brand of L-theanine that comes from Japan. Not only is Sun Theanine the most studied form of L-theanine available, with hundreds of studies conducted over three decades, it's one of the most studied supplement ingredients, period. Also important, these studies demonstrate the potential benefits you may experience from supplementing with L-theanine, but they also have extensive toxicity and safety data too, which indicates it's very well tolerated when used as directed. Now, I'll tell you, sun theanine will cost you a few more dollars than some of the other generic brands of L-theanine, but I think you're likely to find it's worth the extra investment. I know of one supplement company that sold sun theanine for many years, and their new owners thought they could make more money by switching to a cheaper generic, and it didn't work out. They lost a lot of customers and sales after the switch. I can still picture my grandfather saying, telling me as a kid, you get what you pay for. A big part is how the L-theanine is produ produced. Sun theanine uses a patented fermentation process that mimics the natural process green tea leaves use to produce L-theanine. The fermentation process results in a highly pure and potent L-theanine ingredient. In addition, as I mentioned, the makers of sun theanine have been at this for a while, and through their hundreds of research studies, and feedback from many customers over the years, you learn things. For example, while it's believed you can take sun theanine with or without food, one thing you want to avoid is taking it at the same time as protein or muscle-supporting supplements that contain the branched-chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, or valine. Sun theanine may compete for absorption in the gut and brain, 
with these specific amino acids, which could reduce effectiveness. Next, I want to share some of the benefits you may experience by supplementing with suntheanine. But since we're almost out of time for this episode, we'll stop here. And next week in part two, we'll, re we'll review some of the key findings from the suntheanine research. And I'll also show you how we like to use suntheanine in a formula at Nature City. That's it for this week. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see next week's episode and future episodes or listen to us on your favorite streaming service. We're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. This is Carl Pardelli, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.